everybody, I'm Nicole Fecto. I am the chairman of the Berwick Planning Board, a longtime resident and local real estate agent. And today I am here with your Berwick Planning Board Minute to talk about site walks, public hearings, and public comment. Um, and that's pertaining to the planning board. So the site walks, public hearings, and public comment sessions are the public's opportunity to participate and to have their uh, voices heard, their concerns heard, their questions answered. And because uh, we often get very heated, uh, contentious projects coming into town, there is a certain way that we run these these three um, things. <laughs> I'm sure I have a better word for it. <laughs> I don't. Okay, there's a certain way that we run this. and. I wanted to get the public educated on what the protocols are and the processes are for these. So I'll start with a site walk. A site walk is the planning board's opportunity to go out to a site of a project and look at the layout, speak with the engineer, speak with the applicant if necessary, and just get some real basic questions answered. The public is always invited to participate in a site walk. We love to have the abutters there so that they can also see layouts and lot lines. A site walk is not a public hearing. It is not an opportunity for the public to ask a lot of questions of the applicant. Some questions that are welcomed at the site walks are, where are the lot lines? Where will the road be? Where does the open space start? Those are um, you know, just very clear cut questions. But if the site walk starts turning into a public hearing where we get a lot of questions that are coming for the, for the applicant, I will shut that site walk down. Um, site, anything that's turning into a public hearing or a meeting needs to be recorded properly. And while I take notes during our site walks, I'm certainly not recording it and it is not considered an actual meeting. So that's a site walk. Generally, following a site walk, we have a public hearing. Now, that's not always true, so always check uh, the town website to see when the public hearing for the application will be. The public hearing is the public's opportunity to participate in the application and to express their concerns, get questions answered, and um, that's, that's when you can have an interaction with the planning board at that level. How, um, how we run our public hearings, again, we follow certain rules because we need to maintain order for our meetings and it just makes everything go smoother and um, just it's a more succinct way of operating. So what we do is we have an applicant um, come and present maybe a little bit of their application and then we invite the public to come up and ask their questions. They ask their questions directly to the board. Um, or um, address their comments directly to the board. The board records the questions and comments. We generally do not have a back and forth conversation. It's a public hearing where we are here to hear the public. Um, after that, we close the public hearing unless we have agreed to keep it open for a longer period of time. And when that application comes back up in the old business portion of our meeting is when we address the public's concerns and questions. At that point, the public hearing is over and it's not, we, we don't have any more back and forth. So sometimes we'll have members of the public in the audience trying to talk to us up here on the board and that is just not how we run our meetings. So I like to make sure everybody's on the same page and you know what the expectations are for um, the meetings and the public portion. If you have a question, a comment, or concern about something that is not an active application or not active on our agenda, you're more than welcome to come to the meetings. We have two public comment sessions. One is at the beginning of the meeting and one is at the end of the meeting. You're limited to three minutes each. It's limited to residents or property owners in the town of Berwick. And it's for things under the purview of the planning board. And that's um, also important to know. If you come to us asking us to do something that is under the purview of the select board, there's not much that we can do. We're going to direct you to go to their meetings. But um, that's basically how, how it runs for um, public input. You can always also email um, me as the chairman of the board. You can email Jenny McCabe as the code enforcement officer. And right now we are um, 
in flux with our planning department, so we don't have a town uh, planning director at the moment, but um, you know, you could email James, it'll probably just get directed to one of us though, until we have somebody in that position. Um, as always, feel free to send me an email, I'm very responsive, and I look forward to the public participation. I think that the more educated the public is, the more effective they will be um, as public participants.